get my mail here. Um, I'm gonna go around the front. I resprayed all of the deer off on all of those soda bottle bells. Look at the pile of maypops. So, I wanted to show you maypop flowers. They started blooming two days ago, based on this one. So I'm trying to train them towards the fence. They keep not wanting to go, but I'll make them. <laughs> Roses are looking great. They have hips on them and everything, so the bees have done a good job. There's the apple. There's my ladders on the fence. Thinking about getting a ton of sand on this and planting cactuses. So we have that endemic paddle cactus here that actually grows all the way up to this zone. I forget exactly what it's called. First time I saw pictures of it growing in the wild, I thought to myself, oh, somebody's, um, somebody's indoor cactus got out. It's terrible that people plant out things that don't belong. But then I realized, oh, I'm actually wrong. Uh, it's actually endemic. So, the lemon balm. I've been slowly going through and chopping off all these, uh, wild grapes and the uh, invasive Chinese honeysuckle. And on the other side here, there were those um, morning glory-like vines that I chopped up. Took a bunch of the dead branches off of this thing. Maybe when I pruned it, I pruned the tips. And then it has to re-sprout. Um, and that's fine. Hopefully it grows back bigger and better next year. Maybe I should cut this part off so it doesn't dry out into the yard so much. And prune this stuff off so it doesn't grow all over the porch. I guess I'm still figuring out what to do with it. Most of them it. I clipped back to get some tips. Looks like it's grown back already. Maybe I'll go harvest even more tips. Um, I'm drying a nice stash. These daisies are gonna bloom soon. I sprayed the deer off on this stuff too. I think it's that dark purple aster. Um, I've been working on the ivy too, getting rid of that. The mosquito was just biting me. It's finally mosquito time of the year. I'm up late. So, I had wanted to move that mulch pile to around the trees and behind the rhubarb this weekend, but, uh, I think I'm having back problems again. Like nerve pains down my legs, so... I didn't want to, but unfortunately it might be time to go see, uh, a neuro again, or maybe that back pain, um, specialist, because he does MRIs. So I have earwigs absolutely everywhere. It's disgusting. I hate them. <laughs> um, I don't know what this flower is. The deer kept eating it until I sprayed the deer off stuff on them. So, um, I guess whatever it is is tasty, and I'm glad that I did spray it so that I get to see these blooms. What else? What else? Um, I tried to lure the groundhog into a trap because I saw it in my yard a week and a half ago, but I think it learned that, you know, its house doesn't exist anymore under my house, so it doesn't come here anymore. It just lives across the street. Since I cleaned this stuff up, I wanted to move mulch to all over here, too, because um, I planted three rhubarb seeds to get three more plants out here. I have just a gigantic rhubarb patch. Um... What else? What else? I think this is this is the one with the most earwigs in it. It's so disgusting. <laughs> um, I planted out the leafagort seedlings. I think it was a leafagort and something else. 
what else did I plant out this past week? Now that it was supposed to be in the 60s at night, but of course it decided to do 55 overnight again. These flowers are so nice. Hmm. My one bachelor's button this year. None of the others have come up. Was the white or somebody else? Who was it? Oh, and I think the gooseberries might be the little blackberries over there. I think they might be ready for picking and making into jam. These May Pops are almost ready to bloom. I haven't actually ooh, ooh, haven't actually seen any blooms yet. That one's a little bit purple, so it looks like it almost wants to bloom. Um, so hopefully I get those nice um, carpenter bees soon. And I gotta go through and pick the peas, you know. Sorry about the plane. I'm trying to remember what else I planted out. But, ooh. ooh, that didn't feel good. Anyway, so the gourds went out. The ones that are in full sun are kind of wilty. The one that's kind of shaded out by the beans looks a little bit better. It did finally rain on Friday. Uh, I want to say not enough because I think I was supposed to mow this weekend, but the grass still barely looks... It looks like one week grass and not two week grass, so maybe I'll save it to next weekend again, especially considering my back doesn't feel good at all. Hopefully those fritillary butterflies are eating this maypop leaf and that's why it's all chewed up and then I'll get nice butterflies. I've actually seen a couple around so maybe that is them. I have more of that lettuce popping up everywhere which is nice. So I'm gonna, I'm, I'm letting it go to seed everywhere so that I can take the seed heads and check them all over the garden. And, well. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll actually come up for a fall crop, or maybe it'll come up next year. My sunflower is doing great. I'm glad I routed it the way that I did. Uh, the birds will be excited. These peas are huge. Oop, this one. This one should go here. So many sunflowers. I mean, at least the birds will enjoy the garden, right? I mean, hopefully I do too, but... Yep. 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 Oh, what else? There was one of those pink dandelions that actually bloomed over here. So I'm gonna have a seed head. I'm excited. This is one of the ones that I transplanted. Ooh, that strawberry that I moved looks super bad. I guess that mix is really, really dry though. Um, let's see those um, gooseberries. A little bit better there. I think that's one of those crosses with black currant. Um, these melons are doing fantastic. Ooh, I have, looks like I have tomatillos. That is so exciting. Meanwhile, this ground cherry keeps dying back harder and harder. I don't know what's going on. It makes me really sad. That one is kind of shaded, so it's not doing as well, but what can I do? <laughs> I mean, I guess I could chop back that lettuce, but um, maybe I will. I was thinking of maybe planting more um, ground cherry seeds around because this one is doing so bad. Uh, and I was going to do it with the rains that were supposed to happen uh, next Monday or Tuesday through like a whole entire week. But then they keep disappearing off the forecast and we desperately need water because I went walking around the path. Um, that walking path that you used to be able to see but now there's houses. Um, and the little creek that's supposed to run over there is completely dry. It's a dry creek bed, so not good. Not good at all. What else did I plant out? I really can't remember. I thought it was the ground cherries and some, not ground cherries, gourds and something else. Maybe I see a strawberry over there. Might go pick them again. What was it? Oh, maybe it'll come to me later. Uh, what else? These what are called chicories are all blooming. They escaped from that pot last year, right? So once I see their blooms, maybe I'll demark them somehow. The one in the middle of that over there is. 
um, and then I'll plant the seeds next year for greens. The sweet potatoes are doing well. Uh, hopefully that isn't fire blight, all of the orange spots. If it is, well, I tried and it didn't work out as usual, right? Try a bunch of everything and see what works out. Uh, carrot blooms are doing well. Got the purple ones. Oh, look, we have bird visitors. Hello, birds. And bee visitors, and all sorts of peas. Uh, oh, and those things that I thought were squashes have blooms like cucumbers, so maybe it's some sort of melon. Oh, maybe I wanted to show y'all the melon sprouts. It's ridiculous over there, and when I finally want the slugs to eat some stuff, they don't. So, I don't know, I don't know. Ooh, another, it's not very pink, but it's, it looks like the pink dandelions. Asparagus has all sorts of seeds again, so I'm gonna get reseeded with ridiculous amounts of asparagus. Oh, that's what I planted out in the pot in the corner. Uh, the parsnip seedlings. Hopefully they're taking well. I also rotated the pot so the biggest one won't be shading them all out. Because they've been spending so much time outside, right in that tray that I move out every single day for the eggplants. I'm thinking of actually moving the eggplants into bigger containers. Um, and just growing them in bigger containers porch and not in the garden at all. <laughs> Maybe I should move the, the peppers outside too. Hopefully there's no strawberry there. There's one frog that lives over here and another one that still lives on the other side of the carrot bed. What else? Um, everything is just kind of, you know, working on it, which is good. Okay, I think that's it for this week. Uh, I might go taste one of the gooseberries over there in that pot. Where is it? Over there. And see if they're ripe. And if they are, then I'll make gooseberry jam. Well, gooseberry pineberry. Ooh, why did that get moved? It needs to get moved back. That squash right there. Maybe somebody was walking around in my garden or something. That's not good. At least there's no digging, right? Okay, I'm gonna go play with gooseberries. Till next week.